Hello again, everyone. Thank you for joining me for another sketch session. Um, for this one, I'm going back to a vehicle design uh, with a little bit of a twist. So uh, in my previous uh, vehicle sketches, um, they were really using primarily uh, military designs. But for this, I wanted to try something a little bit different. Um, I'm basing this off of, uh, you know, a commercial SUV design, uh, but adding a little bit of a twist, adding some uh, uh, some weaponry and some high-tech gadgetry um, on the ceiling portion of it. Um, yeah, and it was really fun and uh, super excited to show you uh, the process that I went through. Here again, um, starting with um, the main body, the main body silhouette, and then going in and um, adding some some wheels using um, like I, I really primarily use a lot of freehand, but for the wheels, um, I like to use uh, some of the shape tools that. Uh, um, that Photoshop has so and then here that I, I found the uh, initial uh, body sketch a little bit too um, it was a little bit too small in terms of length so I, um, I used the lasso tool to stretch it out a little bit more make it look a little bit more aggressive it was, uh, the proportions were a little bit too goofy looking, so stretched it out a little bit more. And then now I'm adding some, uh, I'm exploring some designs for the, the front portion, uh, the grill and the, the headlights. And now without going too far into the, into one aspect or one portion of the drawing, I always like to flesh out as evenly as possible. So now um, I added some uh, some of the uh, the weaponry, that high tech section at the on the the roofing. And then I found that the proportions were still a little bit too um, a little too pudgy looking. So I um, I squashed uh, the height of it a little bit more, and now we get this even more um, aggressive, more serious looking um, design. Feeling pretty confident about the, the line art at this point. So now I'm going in and uh, filling it in with a mid-tone value. And then there I added uh, some tread marks and some some details to the to the wheels. So pretty much all throughout this uh, session, I felt pretty good about uh, the progress and, you know, <clears throat> it was pretty, a pretty even sort of a, a journey, I suppose. Um, whereas there are times when I would start a design, uh, feel good about it, and then it would sort of be like a roller coaster ride in terms of like how I would feel about the direction of the, of the, of the piece 
Um, for this one, fortunately, it was something that I felt pretty good um, overall throughout the, uh, the session. Um, but there are times when I'm drawing and um, I do feel, you know, um, an up and down sort of ebb and flow of, of, you know, feeling really good about the direction of the, of the design. And then there'd be times about uh, during the same session that I, I'd feel like I kind of really second guess um, what I'm doing. And I'm curious what, what other artists uh, think about that and how they deal with it. You know, um, I always like to try to push through it and persevere through it. And uh, most of the time I come out with something that I'm at least I'm satisfied with. Um, but I've also heard some advice from um, from other really prominent artists out there um, to say that, you know, if you feel stuck, just move on, you know, flip the page and uh, try something else. Right. And come back to it later. Um, well, I think that that's actually quite useful and sound advice. I do think that there is still use in in pushing through and sort of finding the finding the um, the quality and the um, you know the satisfaction in something that you know you might not see as something that's going to be good in the first place, right? You know, I, I think it, it's worth uh, pushing at least once or, or twice, try something new, see if it works. And then uh, I would say that if not, move on, move on to another piece. So yeah, I'd like to know what, uh, what other, th other artists think about that. So there's one aspect actually that uh, sort of one of the lows uh, the low points of, of this uh, session here, trying to figure out how to uh, apply reflection to the windshield and the and the glass sections of this um, of this vehicle. You know, it was a, a bit of a struggle um, trying to finding finding the proper rendering technique to to, to make it look convincing. So it took me a couple of attempts to, to kind of figure out how I would go about it. But uh, at the end of the day, I found something that I felt pretty good about that I felt was that was something that that was quite convincing at the end. And uh, yeah, and I think that's sort of one of the uh, the benefits of 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 pushing through and persevering. And I, th I really think that there, I really think that there's something said, something to be said about uh, feeling stuck, um, but you know, just kind of going ahead anyway. Try again, keep trying, at least one or two times uh, until you you find a, a solution that you're happy with. Um, I think that actually builds um, builds a bit of character, to be honest. Rather than just like, you know, running, running into a roadblock and then just moving on. I think there's something to be said about, um, running into issues and, and, and something that you're, you're not quite satisfied with, but trying to, to go back to it and, and figuring something out. Um, I think that what it does is it builds confidence in you as an artist that, um, something doesn't feel right or, or something is not looking the way you want it to look um, that you'll have the confidence that if you try again um, you'll find something that that you'll end up ha being happy with you know like these these epiphanies uh, will occur you know and I think that's like one of the most satisfying things about art is you know, finding um, like a solution, finding a technique that you've never um, you've never used before, um, and something that just clicks in your head that that really stays there. You know, that you can kind of use um, in your in your future 
um, drawings in your, in your future paintings. Um, and I think that the only way to really do that is to just, again, like push through and, uh, um, you know, sort of like really learn the hard way. Adding some details to the to the tires here. Paying paying quite a lot of attention to the to the front grille here. Because again, the more contrast you have on something, the more detail you have on something, that is where um, the eye will will go towards. So you know, always be be aware of where you put detail and contrast. Um, and it's always good to use detail and contrast uh, on the on the parts of the design that you want um, people to pay attention to. Here, just really touching up the the line art here. And then at some point soon, I'll be jumping on to um, exploring the, uh, the color scheme. You're just adjusting some of the windshield, uh, the mirror area just to make sure that uh, it wasn't too dark. It was feeling a little bit too dark before. Um, did some levels adjustment just to make sure that, um, you know, it's it's more of a higher value. It doesn't really fight um, with the shadows in terms of uh, uh, the darkness. And here, just exploring some colors here. Started out with a blue, wasn't quite feeling it. Tried a bit of a yellow green. Not quite feeling it. But you know, looking back at this, like like this is a time lapse um, of a pre-recorded video, right? Um, and looking back at uh, some of the color choices that I made here. Um, next time around, I'll probably go towards that blue again. Like that was, actually wasn't really feeling too bad. So it's really interesting with art is, you know, it really depends on how you feel at the moment. That really affects how you kind of perceive things, right? And uh, that's why it's so subjective. But for this one, I ended up going with um, a red, predominantly red color. You're just jumping back into the values, adding some darker tones to the um, 
to the uh, the headlights here. And here is where I make the adjustment to uh, the red paint job. And then just going back and reinforcing the, the line work a little bit. Going in with, um, with a texture brush, adding a little bit of detail to the paint so that it's not just completely um, this, this flat red here. And then now trying out a little bit of striping uh, and went with a blue um, secondary color here. Again, um, as always, using it very sparingly. You know, I think that there's always a ratio that you have to play with in terms of, you know, the primary color, the secondary color, tertiary color. Um, I think it exponentially um, sort of decreases when it comes to how much you use it. I think that's quite a, uh, a safe ratio to go with. Here I'm really just adding the finishing touches to the uh, to the paint, adding my you know my my favorite color dodge uh, layer to finish up the drawing. I really love this because it really brings out the uh, the image, in my opinion. And yeah, finally deciding that I needed the um, uh, the darker um, the darker values for the uh, the trim there, for the fender and uh, yeah, like the trim pieces. And yeah, like this is pretty much the the finished product here. Really enjoyed this one. Um, this is probably like one of my favorite um, vehicle designs thus far. And uh, yeah, looking forward to another one pretty soon. Yeah, feeling pretty happy with it at this point yeah and there we go and um if you like this video please hit like and subscribe and if you have any comments please don't hesitate to leave comments and uh i'll catch you all in the very near future thank you